Daylib, wake up. Huh? Akira, did we really sleep in the grass plains last night? Yes, we did, honey. It was getting late, and we had to stop. I... I'm really happy that nothing got our daughter. She's my everything. So are you. <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Just... <laughs> You're so cute. But you're cuter. Stop! Oh, Daywhip. I'm so sorry that I hurt you, sweetie. But if I'm being completely honest with you, I feel like a cave would have been safer to sleep at. Really? Why do you think that? Because last night it was really cold, and in a cave it will be a lot warmer. Because it's inside. But if we sleep in the grass plains, then it's really chilly. I see where you're coming from, Daywhip. But don't worry, I'm sure we'll find a territory soon. You said that two weeks ago, and we still haven't found ourselves a territory. Don't worry, we'll find one soon. That's what you've been saying, but we never did day up. We'll find one. For you, me, and our daughter. How can you be so bright-sided? Well, I just like to look on the bright side of things. Sometimes you just have to stay optimistic. I suppose that's true. Are those the cats I chased out of my territory yesterday? <sighs> Excuse me, do you remember me? Oh, it's you. Yeah, surprise, surprise, my cave is right over there. You guys barely went anywhere. What? But we traveled for three hours. Well, obviously that's a lie because my cave is right over there. You are back where you started. But we traveled last night. I know we did. If you guys are having that much trouble finding the cave, why don't you guys just live with me? What? Um, excuse me, but aren't you the guy who chased us out of your cave y the other day? Okay, one, that was yesterday. And two, it was because I was very angry that food got scarce that day. Wait. There's no food out here? How are we supposed to survive? Well, usually I head to the farm that's like an hour walk away, two hours walking. You've got to cross the monster road, and then you've got to actually get to the farm and find the lambs. It's just a lot of work. But since you guys have a child, I don't know if this is the right den for you. I mean, she still has to have milk from her mother, but... Daylip and I have to eat. If Daylip doesn't eat, eat, that means there will be no milk for Athela. Okay, TMI, but YOLO, I guess. What's a YOLO? Oh my god, you have so much to learn if you're gonna live with me. Just come on in and get some rest. Thank you so much. Yes, you're way too kind. So, what are your names? My name is Daylip, this is Akira, and this is our daughter, Athela. She can't speak yet, can she? No. Mm-hmm. So, how we're gonna do it tonight is... I'll sleep on the ground and you guys can sleep on my bed. What? No, we can't take your bed. Dude, you guys have a stinking child. You're taking my bed whether you like the sound of that or not. What's your tone? We don't want stinking to be... Athel's first word. Lady, you literally just said it. YOLO, or whatever you said. We don't even know what that means. Ah, it stands for you only live once. Don't cats have nine lives? Domesticated cats do. True, true, true. All right, I guess we'll take the bed. All righty, night. You're kind of in the way. Ah. Let's go, Daylip. Coming, hun. I love you, Daylip. One day, you will be my mate.